Uh, guys, it's been a real fun time doing the show with you. Uh, we uh, just want to spend a few minutes now and talk about the future of cinema. Uh, we are in the spring, and spring is all about awakening, and it's about uh, new beginnings. And now is a good time to look at, Greg, in your opinion, where are we at with film, and where do you think cinema is going to be going in the future? I think it's going to get dramatic. I think that there's a trend right now towards uh, sort of adult dramas, uh, thinking man's movies, that type of thing, but with a little more action in those types of movies than you've seen in the past. Uh, a few more car chases or explosions than you might have seen in those sorts of adult dramas. I do think we're going to see a little bit more from my old friend The Hobbit. I think Bilbo Baggins will be back not just for the two movies that are planned, but for many, many more. Very, very interesting. Um, I, ha I take a different perspective on this a little bit. I think you're still going to see, you know, the superhero movies and the great gross-out comedies from people like Judd Apatow and the Zucker Brothers and whatnot. Uh, a lot of great remakes, I believe, will be coming up in the next few years. But I think one point of agreement that we can agree on right now and uh, is 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 more of Hobbit, and uh, I know there's they're slated to come out, so it's a pretty safe bet. But I think you're you're right. Beyond the the next two, I think there's going to be several Bilbo Baggins movies on its way 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 into the distant future. I believe that we'll be two old gray men uh, with our beards down to our knees, sitting on our front porch watching another Bilbo Baggins movie come down the highway. My final prediction is I believe they're finally going to shutter and close the door forever on the James Bond franchise and get rid of that series because it has proven to be a complete uh, disaster uh, for the filmmakers and the, and the producers. Uh, America and the world has spoken that, uh, that we are done. We don't need any more James Bond movies. The Skyfall was, was the last one. And, uh, and it's sort of like, James Bond, thank you for all your years of service, but you're now officially retired because we have, we have Jack Reacher and all the rest to take the place. And uh, we'll, I'm sure we'll be seeing many more Jack Reachers and Bourne and the rest of them, Indiana Jones. So many great movie heroes we don't need. There's no room for James Bond anymore. So thank you for your years of service, um, Dr. Bond, but you are now retired. Bond will be back. That's, uh, I'm going to have to agree to disagree on that one. I think that the Skyfall was one of the best in the Bond series, and I think it sort of was a new awakening. And I think you'll see lots of Bond. He may combine forces with other uh, movie heroes. You may see James Bond with R2-D2, or with Bilbo Baggins, or with Spider-Man, or maybe all of them in one big movie. Only time will tell. But I think that would be a good commercial move, and certainly a movie I'd like to see with that whole gang in it. So let's keep our eyes open and uh, keep looking towards the future. All right. Well, that about does it for us here. No more James Bond, and uh, we'll see you guys next time. Uh, enjoy the movie. I think maybe what you have to reconsider is that James Bond has proven to be a complete disappointment. He's just getting started. Viva Senor Bond. Are you kidding me? He's just getting started. The new gadgets are being invented.